the Pacific Northwest has a rich history of early lumbering, as well as the families who built the lumber industry. One such family, the Swansons, have been working in the wood products industry since the early 1930s. The latest acquisition for the Swanson Group, Inc. was a plywood mill in Springfield, Oregon, purchased from McKinsey Forest Products. But in late 2014, tragedy struck when a fire consumed the Springfield plant. The Swanson Group was faced with a tough decision whether to rebuild the mill or take their losses and build somewhere else. Whatever the decision, Swanson knew the impact would be substantial to the small community of Springfield. In the end, Swanson's core purpose to create opportunities and long-term security for their employees, shareholders, and respective families cemented their purpose to build for the future. But the Swanson Group didn't just rebuild the mill operations. They chose Main and Machinery of Japan to design, engineer, and build a new state-of-the-art peeling line. Bringing automated technology to the Springfield site, the Swanson Group invested in what is now one of the largest, most efficient mills in the United States. I'm Steve Swanson, president of the Swanson Group. Behind us uh, is uh, my new plywood mill. It's going to be the most sophisticated plywood mill in North America. It's also the newest plywood mill in North America. We chose to rebuild this mill after our fire of 2014, and the product line that we have chosen to pursue here is also a very high quality uh, overlay product. To make that high quality overlay product, it requires a very, very good piece of veneer to start with. So in our pursuit uh, for excellence, we chose the Manon lathe line. Manon produces the highest quality veneer. It has the highest recovery rates uh, in the industry. Its production per man hour is also very, very high. And because of those three factors, its cost is within our budget. Using veneer peeling technology from Manon Machinery Works, the new lathe line is over 350 feet in length. The plant is over 1,000 feet long. After its design, the working system was first completely assembled in Japan, then disassembled, boxed, shipped, and reassembled in the Springfield plant. The fully automatic main and veneer peeling line is composed of seven key components. Let's take a closer look at these components and how they work together. Simulated logs are loaded into the V-block of the pre-charger. The V-block lifts the log until it's held by the pre-charger spindles, while patented camera and laser technology transmit data to a computer. Paddles lower onto the length of the block while it's rotating to measure the outer shape of the log. This allows for accurate detection of splinters and other log defects that may cause inaccurate determination of the maximum log radius. All calculations are completed in one rotation of the log. Once the computer determines the best center location of each log, the swing charger adjusts the log block and precisely transfers it to the lathe. A visual representation displays the optimal peeling scenario. The veneer from a log is created when a log is rotated against the knife edge. Unlike a conventional lathe that uses spindles to drive the log, the main on lathe uses a series of sharp spike discs mounted onto a common shaft to drive the log against the knife tip. Two backup rolls support the log and enhance the nose bar pressure to minimize lathe checks. Because the log is driven by the spike discs instead of the spindles, the driving force of the log block is equal to the resistance from the knife. This system drives the log steadily and truly against the knife, producing better veneer quality than a conventional lathe. The main end concept focuses on recovery improvement to lower material costs, automation to lower labor costs, and technology to reduce glue and energy costs. The main end lathe produces a smooth and accurate thickness of veneer from many different wood species in a wide range of log diameters. It makes spindleless peeling possible to produce a small core diameter. Here are logs peeled down to an amazing 2 inch core. When the veneer ribbon exits the lathe, a row of sensors mounted at the lathe outfeed detect the defect percentage of the peeled veneer to determine whether it meets a programmed threshold value. 
The veneer sheets are then handled according to the moisture content or defect percentage. A slitter blade cuts the veneer ribbon into two four-foot widths that travel on belt conveyors to the trash gate and random clipper. Once the full-length veneer ribbon enters the rotary clipper in-feed section, sensors detect the leading edge and initiate the first clip, providing a straight edge. The clipper then continues to automatically clip full sheets to an exact width. The veneer sheets are then diverted to one of several automated stackers. An automatic knife changer allows the operator to eliminate the hazards of carrying replacement lathe knives and shortens the knife changing time. Between stopping and restarting the lathe, the entire process takes approximately 5 minutes. Safe, efficient, productive. As the clipped veneer sheets leave the rotary clipper, they are separated to provide space for the subsequent stacking process. While one sheet is lifted off the horizontal conveyor in the first separator, the following sheet continues a short distance into the second separator unit. Both sheets then travel on separate needle belt conveyors to the full sheet stacker bins. At the outfeed side of the lathe, the trash gate clipper separates random veneer and waste by directing roundup waste onto a trash conveyor at the floor level, so no pit is needed. Once the lathe produces usable veneer, the gate flips up and directs fishtails and random veneer onto the accumulating conveyor leading to the random veneer clipper. Four foot random width and fishtail lengths are format clipped by the random clipper and transported in line to two green veneer composers. Two four foot random veneer stackers accumulate veneer when the composers are stopped for maintenance. This veneer is automatically re-entered and processed by the composers when there are gaps between the veneer. As veneer sheets enter the stacker area, they are automatically stacked according to previously measured moisture content or defect. Once the full signal is initiated, the scissor lift lowers itself completely and the full stack moves out of the stacker onto an inclined roll case and loader for the busy forklift operators. Historically, the plywood industry has made many attempts to handle short veneer strips generated during the roundup process. Random width veneer and fishtails are processed by two main and green veneer tape edge composers, featuring a high-speed feeding system that allows the mill to reclaim these random width strips. They are joined together to produce 4x4 veneer sheets to be used as core material in the plywood panels. The leading and trailing edge of each veneer piece is clipped to provide a straight edge. The veneer that is not within thickness tolerance is clipped out. A tape joining device applies special heat activated adhesive tape on both the face and the backside, providing a strong joint with no overlap defects and allowing same handling as full size sheets. The heat proof tape stays on during the drying process. The entire main and line is operated by just three employees. Better veneer quality, consistent peel thickness, lower cost of operation, increased productivity, and higher recovery. The Mainon automatic veneer peeling line has been a good fit for the Swanson Group, its many customers, and their employees.